Jarvis, drop my needle. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and I'm recording this for a second or third time now, I think, because my audio was really screwed up, and so I'm trying to get this recorded. I got up a little early today, and now I'm crunching it because I got to go to work soon, so I'm trying to get this out to you guys. It might take me all weekend to get it edited, but I'll post it as soon as I can, so hopefully it goes up by Monday or Tuesday at the latest. Um, I am having surgery on Tuesday, so I'll be on bed rest for a couple days and I will have you know content though scheduled to go up during that time while I'm on bed rest. So you'll have some videos that I recorded weeks ago that I'm finally got around to editing. So I've just been saving them up and I'm gonna schedule them for next week. So uh, today's episode for Venom Vlog, this is gonna be really fun because we're gonna talk about Midnight Suns, which is a game we've been covering on this channel and been talking about, but through the lens of Ghost Rider. And now we've got information here and a release and a new trailer uh, with the release date in October, that Venom has joined the game. Uh, how cool is that? We got Venom and Spider-Man. Venom is not playable as far as I know. It looks like he's just a boss character that we're going to have to battle, um, but Spider-Man will be playable. And depending on what version you pre-order, which we're going to talk about the different versions today, you can get Spider-Man with the, the symbiote costume, uh, which I'm definitely going to do. So that way uh, I will live stream this. I haven't live streamed a game in a while. I played Halo a little bit when it came out, and then... Uh, I played the multiverses game recently, but I'll have that footage edited and posted on here at some point soon, so you can kind of hear my thoughts on that game. I got early access to it, and it was a lot of fun. So I'll have my you know video review of that going up. I'll have some Resident Evil content go up on my other channel soon. And then for this channel, though, definitely I don't know if I have time to play Gotham Knights when that comes out, I, although I think that got pushed back again. So right now my eyes are just locked on Midnight Sun. So when this game drops in October, I will take maybe a few days off work. I haven't done something like that in a while. And I will live stream this and we will just get full on into it. We'll play it for like three days straight, you know, and just and just play it from beginning, middle, and end. Um, so I'm I'm very excited. Now that Venom's a part of this, yeah, I'm even more excited. So here, let's dive into this. So if you get the I'll just show the cover for the legendary edition real quick. Uh, that has Venom on the cover. So for you Venom collectors out there, if you want, you know, the artwork of him on the cover, you got to get the Legendary Edition, which is $100. There's also a special edition, I think, that's coming out in the UK that's like a box with tarot cards and stuff. Um, I have an image there. I'll put a link to that down below if you want to check that out. They just revealed that information actually this morning um, on Saturday here. So uh, so that's just dropped and, and that's that's fresh. So, uh, so yeah, check that out if you're in the UK. And if you're able to get that version, I hope a version like that comes out in the U.S. But then again, if that, if it does, that means I got to get it for the PlayStation. And I kind of want to play this on my new Xbox. So and since my new Xbox is a digital only Xbox, I'm going to have to pre-order this digitally, which I will do because I want to make sure that I don't have any money problems when this game comes out. Uh, I want to pre-order it now while I have a few extra dollars. So that way when it comes out, I can play it and play it for you guys. So you can see Venom in action, Spider-Man in the black costume. Ghost Rider, Blade, like, you know, a lot of my favorite characters from Marvel, uh, some of the uh, lesser known characters. I mean, I guess they're all Ghost Rider and Blade, a lot of people know, but they're not like in the spotlight like the Avengers are. But to me, they are. <laughs> These are my characters I love. I love all the supernatural stuff from Marvel. So having this being a blend of the X-Men Inferno storyline and the Ghost Rider Midnight Sun storyline from the 90s and blending those two together to make this story and kind of using those as inspirations for this story so that the X-Men can team up with the supernatural characters and can team up with the Avengers, I think that's really cool. And I'm excited to see this. So we have four editions of this game. There's the main edition, which is $59.99. That's going to come with the game. And then if you pre-order it, you get the Doctor Strange Defender skin. And remember, if you go to the Midnight Suns website, midnightsuns.com, you can sign up for their newsletter and you'll get a free Blade skin where he's in the Night Stalker's costume um, from the 90s uh, with the spikes on his shoulders and stuff. You'll get that for free if you join up for the newsletter. When the game comes out, you'll get an email with that code. So if you pre-ordered this, you know, any of these versions, um, you'll get the Defender skin for Doctor Strange, which is awesome that they're doing that. Uh, so that's cool. So that's the standard edition, just the game and the skin. But a second skin if you go sign up for the newsletter. And I think they did a, a thing where if you retweet something from their from their uh, Twitter page, you get another skin for another superhero. So they're doing stuff. So make sure you follow Midnight Suns on social media so that way you can get extra skins and, and stuff for free. Um, then there's also 
the Enhanced Edition. Now this one is gonna just come with the game, the Defender skin, uh, Doctor Strange, and then the Enhanced Premium Pack, which I believe comes with five skins. So five additional skins on top of the, the you know base level skins you get for the game. That's $69.99, so it's $10 more for five skins. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth that. Uh, but you know, for those of you out there who just want these five skins, you know, it's, I guess it would be kind of a bargain. So you don't have to pay for extra skins that you don't want. Um, but we'll go into what skins those are here in a second because we also have the Midnight Suns Digital Plus Edition, and this one comes with everything that the uh, you know Enhanced Edition comes with, only with eleven skins instead of five. So uh, so yeah, you'll get, and we'll go into what skins those are. And then lastly is the Legendary Edition. Um, and this one is $99.99. Uh, obviously, Digital Plus is $79.99. So for $99.99, you get um, you know, 23 skins plus the Season Pass. So I like that because to me, then I feel like I'm paying for the Season Pass. And the 23 skins, there's not a dollar value on those. Or maybe it's 10 bucks, you get all you know, 30 of them. And then you're spending another like 30 bucks for the DLC. Uh, I guess they're going to do timed DLCs with new missions and that are kind of character based or bring in different characters. And those are going to come out throughout the next year or so, uh, maybe hopefully longer. And you'll get, you know, every so often they'll drop a new DLC. They'll all be included. If you buy this version, Legendary Edition, those new DLCs will automatically download when they come out. So um, that's why I want this version is so I can just clean slate, have everything that's going to come out for at least the first year of this game or so all in one, uh, but then also to have that cool Venom artwork, uh, you know, from that edition. So what skins do you get? So obviously if you get the regular edition, or not the uh, regular, the enhanced edition, you get five skins. You get a skin for Captain America called Future Soldier. You get a skin for Captain Marvel called Marvel. Um, you get a skin for Magic called Phoenix Five. That's her Phoenix Five outfit. The uh, Nico, she comes with her uh, sister Grimm outfit. And Wolverine with an X-Force outfit, which is uh, awesome because that's a really great, cool costume. Um, but if you get the uh, you know, Edition Digital Plus that has 11 costumes, you'll get the Future Soldier, Marvel, Phoenix Five, Sister Grimm, and X-Force for those characters. But you'll also get a Demon Hunter skin for Blade, Captain of the Guard skin for Captain America, Iron Knight skin for Iron Man, uh, Shadow Witch skin for Nico, um, New Mutant skin for Magic, and a Spirit of Vengeance skin for Ghost Rider. And we don't have any images of these, I think, right now. At least at this moment, I couldn't find any. So we're just going to kind of guess. And if you hear snoring in the background, we got Ace back there just kind of plumped on the bed and, and snoring his brains out. Um, so, uh, and then lastly, we have the Legendary Edition. Now, this one will come with pretty much two skins for nearly every character, but it's also revealing which other characters are playable that maybe we didn't know before. So uh, so we have Captain America, he has his two skins, Future Soldier and Captain of the Guard. Captain Marvel skin, we got the Marvel one, but also a medieval Captain Marvel design. Uh, Magic comes with her Phoenix Five and New Mutant costume. Nico, her Shadow Witch and Sister Grimm costume. Uh, then we also have Wolverine with his X-Force costume and Cowboy Logan costume. Um, Blade with his Demon Hunter costume and the Blade from 1602, which is uh, one of those, you know, Marvel stories set in a different time period, um, like a what if almost. So I don't want to call it Elseworlds because that's DC, but so the Blade of 1602, that you get that skin. Iron Man comes with his Iron Knight costume and his Bleeding Edge costume. And I, that's pretty cool. They're using that name for this game, you know, because it's kind of, it's, you know, bleeding, you know, it's a uh, horror and supernatural stuff. So that's cool. Um, we get Spirit of Vengeance costume for Ghost Rider and the Death Knight costume. Uh, which is really cool. Uh, Doctor Strange, besides getting the Defenders one, if you pre-order it, you also get this Doctor Strange of the Future Supreme uh, costume. So Future Supreme Doctor Strange. Uh, Scarlet Witch, who it looks like here, is a playable character, but she also shows up in the trailer, it seems, as a boss fight uh, possessed by Lilith. So I'm wondering if you fight her like halfway through the game, because I think they said Wolverine, when he joins your team, you're already like eight or ten hours into the game by that point. Um, so I'm thinking throughout the game, like kind of like Final Fantasy Tactics and other games like that, they drop characters in like way late in the game. So maybe Scarlet Witch is a threat at first and then she joins your team. Because I imagine once you have her, your team gets very OP, <laughs> you know, for sure. So here they're revealing she's a playable character and you get the Boss Witch costume and the Fallen Scarlet Witch costume. So her when she, I guess, turns evil. Um, then also Spider-Man, who they revealed in this trailer as a playable character, uh, with this really cool suit that has these two red eyes in, inside of his eyes, and then these red dot eyes like around the side of his uh, symbol. It looks, it's a cool looking costume. I, I dig it. Um, so 
He's in uh, that costume, obviously, but he also has a demon costume and a symbiote costume that will come with the pre-order of the Legendary Edition, or if you buy the Legendary Edition. So obviously that's another reason I want to buy this. Venom's on the artwork. Uh, we get all the DLC and all these costumes, but we also get the black suit costume, the symbiote costume for Spider-Man. And I would love to play the game with that, especially for this Venom vlog, you know, because we're going to stream it. We'll do a Venom stream and uh, and we'll get to, you know, play all these characters. So I want as many symbiotes in here as I can to justify it, but it's also cool. We're getting Ghost Rider stuff and, and all these other characters I love, like Blade. So uh, also they announce here, they say, there is an unannounced hero. There's still a character that they haven't revealed yet, and you will get additional skins for that character as well. I think it's one more character we're waiting to hear from, and there's two skins for them. Um, someone said maybe it's two heroes and we get one skin each, but I think it's just one more hero, I think, by, by the math of how many they said they were going to announce, or how many they said were going to be available when the game first comes out. But when DLC comes out, we might get new characters. So who do you think this final hero will be that they announce? I'm kind of hoping, because I've become a bigger uh, recent fan of his, is Moon Knight. I would love Moon Knight to be a part of this, but also I've been seeing a lot of people really wanting Punisher on the team. And uh, that could be interesting, uh, seeing uh, like Punisher, or even if they want another like super powerful character, maybe someone like Thor you know, could be on the team as well if you want an Avenger, or like a Hawkeye or Black Widow or something. So any of those characters would be cool too. So I I'm curious to see who, who they're going to have and who's going to be this last hero to play as at the launch of the game. So uh, let me know what you think. You know, seeing Venom in the trailer was really cool. They had him you know, possessed by Lilith. Uh, you know, he start, he's running from her. So that's kind of cool seeing Venom run for his life, being chased by Lilith, and she's sending demons after him and stuff, and, and like uh, tentacles and stuff to try to grab him. And she corners him with green fire in an alley and, and then, you know, possesses or, you know, co corrupts him, I guess, and turns him into one of her puppets. And I love that they're playing Master of Puppets by Metallica because they did a Metallica song where they did a cover version of it for Enter Sandman in the first trailer. So they're sticking with that like old school rock music, uh, which I love. But Master of Puppets is cool because that kind of describes Lilith because she is, you know, puppeteering these uh, villains and heroes that she's possessing, uh, which we see Scarlet Witch, I believe, is one of them. We see Sabretooth, I believe, is the guy next to her. Then we have Venom in this trailer, and then they reveal a possessed Hulk at the end. So a demonized version of all these characters is really cool. And remember in the comics, the Penance Stare did not work on Venom. So I'm really curious to see how demon possession works on Venom in this game. Uh, just as a lore fan, uh, I, I'm really curious to see that because obviously this is a different lore, so the rules might be different, but I'm just, I'm curious if there's any nods to, you know, comic book stuff in this game, uh, you know, or regarding that kind of stuff. So let me know what you think. Who do you think this last hero will be? And what edition are you going to get if you're going to get it? Um, I know some people aren't a big fan of the card-based uh, tactic style. Me, the card-based thing, I think is going to be the, the thing I got to, you know, kind of wrap my head around when I play it. But tactic style games are definitely something I really love. So that makes me excited for this game already. And the team making it makes me excited for this um, because I love XCOM and I love their previous games. So then having Marvel on top of that, and it's all the cool supernatural characters that I love, um, including like, you know, Magic and, and uh, Blade and everybody. It's like, this is like me coming home. And then adding Venom on top of it is just just sweet. It's like the cherry on top, man. I love it so much. So if they can add Moon Knight into it, then I think I would just be like, wow, did you make this game for me, Marvel? That would be that was really nice of you. Thank you. Um, but uh, whatever the last character is, I already like the lineup now, so I'm already not disappointed. I'm already super excited. But uh, but I would love to speculate down below. So let me know what you think the final character will be, and then let me know what you think some of the DLC will be. You know, what storylines do you think they pulled from Inferno and Midnight Suns for this first story, but which you know stories do you think would make good side stories to you know this game uh, or a story inspired by those two comics like i'd love to hear your thoughts on that down below and maybe we'll make a follow-up video later on after my surgery and talk about that as well so thank you so much we'll cover more midnight sun stuff now here on the venom vlog now that we got a confirmation that venom's in the game i'm very excited so i'll put a link to the trailer down below i'll put a link to the collector's edition from uh, the UK, and I'll put a link to midnightsuns.com down below if you want to sign up for the newsletter, get that free blade skin, and then also if you want to pre-order the game because they are selling out. All these editions are selling out on like Best Buy's website, and I think Amazon and GameStop are selling out of some of these versions, so if you want a physical version, you better get on it right now. So I'll put the link to the Midnight Suns website down below so you can find a place to pre-order it. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the future. Peace.